Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, we are going to cover taking in input from the user and we're going to store it in a variable. There are different data types. Feel free to take a look at that video and you can you know combine the two together, but the principle is exactly the same. And it's really simple. So I've already got a bit of code here, which is from the variables video. If you haven't covered that, you know, have a look at that. Once you're comfortable with it, feel free to come back. Okay, so let's just give you a quick will. Let's give you a run. So we get 4, 8, and 32. So print out name, which is 4, var 2, which is 8. Times them together, print out as well. To get value, we just do console.readLine. This does not take any, you know, variables. This method doesn't. But we need to, you know, assign that to something. Otherwise, it's, just, it's reading data, but we're not, you know, storing it. So if I do var 2, for example, equals... And now what I'm going to do is copy these out again. And what I'll say is console.writeLine. Input a number. So if I were to run that now. So it says 4832, important number. Let's say if I put in 23, run it. And it prints out 4, because name didn't change. VAR2 is 23. Prints out the calculation of name times by VAR2, which is 4, times by 23 now, not 4 times 8, 4 times 23. You know, 4 lots of 20 are 80, 4 lots of 3 are 12, 80 plus 12 is 92. Boom, 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 we get 92. And that's it for console input. You, Like I said, you can store it in any type of data type you want. And... Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.